Hello, 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 Earthly Virgo. How are you today? Today is Wednesday, hump day. I hope that the, today fared you all well. We're going to get started. We're, we're starting with the Ten of Wands. Maybe you stressed out about something, okay? Um, like people probably ask you, Virgo, what's, what's wrong? You got a lot of load on your shoulders. You're carrying a lot of load, a lot of worry. What's going on? You got people around you looking at you, asking you what's wrong. Maybe you having a, maybe you're biting somebody's head off for whatever reason, or like maybe you had a real fucked up day. My day was fucked up yesterday. That's why I couldn't do any reading yesterday, y'all. I was just I got off work, I had a headache, I wasn't feeling well. I got right in the bed. <laughs> um, so maybe you're having a real bad day. So you had a bad day. Before you hear that song, you had a bad day, Virgo. Ooh, the lovers. Now, you know. <laughs> We're going to see what this is about. We got the lovers here, okay? Um, I just thought I saw the number 32. Maybe 32 resonates with you for some, some, for some reason. The Six of Swords. Maybe you're ending up, ending up uh, maybe you're wanting to leave something behind. You're in a relationship. For, if you are in a relationship... Maybe you're leaving a relationship behind. You're like, fuck you, I'm done. Now you can have, I have one, one bad, this is the last, the, the last bad day I have is the one I'm having with you right now, okay? We got the Harold fan, marriage. Maybe you're married to this person, okay? Or in a serious uh, committed connection with him or her. And maybe it was wish fulfillment. Maybe this, this person has some drinking issues or some sort of toxic is issues um, that this person is not dealing with. We got the eight of cups here, okay? Okay, you can keep on drinking if you want to. You can keep on getting drunk, hanging out with your friends and your boys and whatever it is that you're doing, but I'm done. It's like you're walking away from this, like, huh. Like, we got lovers here. We got the nine of cups. You want to keep drinking. You want to keep out having fun, doing your thing, not spending time. We're putting everything off on me. Fine. That's what I'm going to do. I'm walking away from you. Okay. We got the eight of cups and we got the six of court of swords. I'm done cutting cords with this person. Let's see. The strength cord. Yeah, you found your balls, <laughs> Virgo. You found those motherfucking balls, and it's time for you to go. Um, I, I think that you you've realized that that you deserve more in your life, uh, more dedication from somebody. If this person's not giving you what you need in the relationship, it's time for you to go. It's like I'm I'm not going to be here with you anymore. You have this person, honestly, I'm hitting my head. They have a lot to atone for when it comes to you. Okay. Um, you were probably married or engaged this person, living with this person for a lot of years. In order for you to be happy, you got to, in order for you to find that strength, I think you have found that strength, but I need that glow in my life. Okay. I need that sun in my life. It's like, once you're happy, you're finally glowing thing, glowing up, seeing the light, I'm going to find your happiness. Okay. It's like you're finally going to find the happiness and the peace that you want. It may be with somebody else, though, okay? Because we got here, which I never realized this before, more signs to choose from. It's, it, You know, it could be anybody. It could be any other sign, not just a Virgo. If you're involved with a Virgo, it could be anybody. It could be a Leo. It could be anybody. Any, there's more people out there in the universe for you, not just that one person who you're li who you're live live leaving behind, okay? Or maybe they left you or whatever because it just didn't work anymore. There's other people in the universe, not the last tool in the motherfucking shit, okay? That's not the last person on earth. So you know, you gotta do what you need to do uh, for you. Um, what you feel is best for you, Virgo. It's all you. Don't trip. Don't worry. Let's see. What kind of sign? We got earth, air, water, and fire. Possibly, possibly what sign would you be um, dealing with? What kind of sign? What element will you be dealing with? Or what element is are you leaving behind? A fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. It's something that you're probably, um, someone that you're probably dealing with now or who you who you may end up. Um, I was actually looking for my my uh, cards with the signs on them. Oh, but I don't see them. Hold on. 
Okay. In the essence of time, I can't, I don't see them offhand. Hold on, y'all. Okay, here they are. <laughs> okay. So, so you're probably dealing with a fire sign. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where are you headed? What sign are you headed to be with? Or the, a Leo, a fire sign. <laughs> I said Leo earlier. Okay. This energy is flamboyant, dramatic, proud, and passionate. It focuses on the importance of being, uh, the importance of self-belief. Uh, so you could be dealing with an, a Leo running. We probably had a, have a habit of meeting a lot of fire signs are always meeting or meeting a Leo. This person is very, very strong. They stand real, real tall. They like to be out in the street, running, uh, running around, doing whatever it is they're doing. And you putting all, they're putting all of the, the stuff on you. Uh, you're probably having a lot of the adult responsibilities and the connection and people actually, what the fuck wrong with you? I'm pissed off because I have to do this shit all by myself all the time. Now I got to make a decision. I got to do something, okay? So now it's time for you to put yourself out there and say, I'm putting, I'm, I'm putting your motherfucking ass on notice. Get the hell up out of my life. Okay. I'm done. That's when you, when you realize that you're done, when you realize that you didn't take all, took all that you can take from this person, they're going to lead you to your glory. They're going to lead you to this 10 of pentacles. They're going to lead you to, even if you have to do it on your own, that's okay. Maybe this, I'm in basketball. Maybe this person, um, is, a basketball player like to play basketball or something like that spends a lot of time with his buddies or whatever if he's a male on the court okay i don't know when i picked this card up i, I thought i don't know what i just heard basketball <laughs> when i maybe this was maybe this person played for money you know one of those basketball nba whatever the heck that is i don't know all this stuff but maybe they got paid for pay, paid for playing basketball whatever doing it professionally for some point for a certain particular for a particular person i don't know sports but the nba is that national yeah national basketball whatever <laughs> so, okay and we got the death card so this is ended or it will be ending for you okay because you ain't taking no more shit virgo I'm like uh, uh i'm done it's like this person they did something i said to you said something to you one one day and that was enough for you. It was like, uh-uh, this is it for me. I can't do this. Nope. Are you headed to another fire sign? Virgo headed to another fire sign spirit? Let's see. Virgo is headed to an Aquarius. The energy is freedom-loving, rebellious, idealistic, and technological. Okay? So maybe you're headed to an Aquarius or a, or a Leo, uh, whatever the energy is for you when you meet this person. Definitely something in the ethos with you moving forward in your life and finding happiness elsewhere with another sign. Doesn't have to always be. Maybe this person is a Virgo. It doesn't have to be. Okay. But definitely this situation is ending for you and you're going to meet somebody else. It's like this is an opportunity for you to grow. Hmm. I'm hearing a song. So it's a um church song um shackles take my take take my feet off my shackles so i can dance it's time for you to take those shackles off and dance you've been tied to this person's energy for much too long okay take those she shackles off my feet so i can dance i just want to praise him yep praise. it's gonna make you feel so much better so much lighter when you let that person go okay three of cups Time, it's, it's time to celebrate life again, okay? Uh, because you finally found your balls, okay? You finally found your big titties, Virgo, by letting somebody go who no longer serves you. It's like you're looking within. You already know what you got to do. I got to end this. Like It's not benefiting me in any situation. I'm no longer happy with this clumpy ass person in my life, so I need to end it. And and your, your, your higher self is telling you that's why you're going to be... Um, happier once you leave that person alone. It's like I'm. I'm why am I staying here? I'm. I'm trying to figure out why. Why haven't I? Ended, why didn't I do this a long time ago? Why did I wait so long to kick this person out of my life? Why did I? I wait so long to take these shackles off my motherfucking feet. Okay. Three of wands. And we got the four of. of oh, the four of passion. The four of wands. 
it's time for you to find stability again in your home. Okay. King of Wands. All of this Wands energy, that's movement for you. That's saying, I'm finally going to put myself out there and meet me somebody else. Because when you leave a situation that no longer serves you, you may not feel good at the time. You may feel like a failure or it didn't work out or you want to cry or whatever. Cry your spill milk, cry your Kool-Aid, whatever it is you're doing. But sometimes we have to walk away and, put, and do what's best for us. Okay, I see something else here, but hold on. You got a choice though. So we got here the four of wands. You got somebody here with you and the person, male or female, the stability in your home wasn't quite right. So somebody had to go, whether it was the male or the female here, had to go. He's here with you here. He's here. Okay. So you have to figure out what you want to do, how you're going to end this situation. Okay. Because once you do, once you do leave this, this person alone, we got an emperor here. Our emperor is waiting for you on the other side. Standing there, just waiting for you to make up your mind what you're going to do to let to allow you to move forward. This positive movement forward, this being your anchor. This person that wants to come in into your life and be your anchor, Virgo, to carry you through, to pick you up, to help you get through the rough edges of your life. <laughs> like Delilah used to say, Delilah. You remember Delilah? The radio. I so love me some Delilah. I haven't listened to her in a long time. We got this intuition and um, mental conflict. No more, no more mental conflict. You can finally, finally listen to your intuition. You finally opened up about yourself and said, I got to get the hell up out of Dodge. Okay. We have intuition and we have mental conflict. No more headaches. No more worrying about this jack leg ass person in your life. Tell them it's time for them to walk outside that door. It's time to go. No more thinking about it. No more if, ands, or booty butts about it. Let this person go. It's time for you to dance. Take those shackles off your feet, Virgo. So you can dance. And we have here. Suffering in silence. Not anymore. Not anymore. That's why people got on your nerves. Okay? Because you're suffering in silence. You really didn't want to listen to anybody else. And how, how much... How, how many days, how many more days do you think you're going to sit there and watch the sunset coming up without bet? Hold on, let me hear it. I'm hearing in my head. How many times are you going to sit there and watch the sun come up and not stand to bear its beauty or not to not to stand to lay in and to receive its beautiful essence? It's time for you to get out there and put yourself out there and say, it's time for me to be happy again. It's time for me to be positive again. Okay. <laughs> Choosing wisely, making some decisions. I've choose you, you and you too many times. Now it's time for me to choose me. Now it's time for me to choose me. Okay. Triumph. Okay. Being happy again. I've at, at, I'm at that point. Let me hop up off this horse so I can so I can get out and dance. And I'm hearing that song. I hope you dance. Okay, so you're gonna have two songs in the comment section. I hope you dance and shackles. Okay, we have light. Seeing that light, that beautiful sunlight, saying, "Here I am. Bask me up in the beauty of your essence." Yes, yes, yes. Final Virgo. The universe has been telling you this for a long, long time. Now you're at that point to where you're finally listening to the universe, Virgo. Find your peace and happiness by letting that person go. Bask in the beauty of who it, whoever it is that you are. Whoever this person told you that you weren't going to be or that you were not to them, fuck them. You're somebody else's beautiful glory. Don't even trip. Okay. I was listening to something earlier in this, um, one of those judge shows. And the judge told one of the ladies in the, she, in the show, she said, my mama told me something when I was younger. She said, never let a man tell you twice that he didn't want to be with you. Hmm. Makes sense to me. All right. All right. I hope this message resonates you all. I will talk to you soon.